Welcome back, friends. This is Thrifty Food Plan, uh, where you can find Thrifty Food Budgets, grocery hauls, and meal plans. And I do post a new video every Thursday. Sometimes I post additional ones. I do ask that you consider subscribing and hitting that like button. So this video is about how to build a frugal, thrifty, monthly grocery budget using the USDA Thrifty Food Plan. And I got to tell you, the number's way bigger than I anticipated. Welcome back, friends. So I am sitting down uh, to do my uh, grocery and personal item budget, uh, basically for the month of September. The way that I get paid, I get paid once a month. I get that cash in hand, and then I put my budget together for the next month. And for me, my budgetary month runs, in this case, from August 26th to November 25th, sorry, September 25th. So the first thing I need to do is I need to go to the most recent USDA thrifty food plan, which is for June, 2022. So first I got to figure out when the college phenom is with me, how much should I budget for her per week? And for a 14 to 19 year old female, that is $58. $54.80. So $54.80. For me, as a 20 to 50 year old woman, my allotment is $53.90. Now, according to footnote three in the USDA plan, when it is a two person household, we should add 10% because their budgets allotments are based on a four person household where theoretically you can pool more of your food. So I'm supposed to add 10% as a two person household. So I will add these two line items and multiply that by 0.1, which is 10%, which means we'd add $10.87. In my budgeting, when it's two of us, I also add $12 a week for household and personal care items. So like if I need to buy toilet paper or the college phenom needs makeup wipes or whatevs, right? And so then I'm going to add all of this together and our weekly total is $131.57. Now, because she's not always with me, I have to calculate this into a daily rate. So I will take that 131.57 and divide it by seven. Now, when she is not with me, it's just gonna be me. Right? And according to the USDA plan, when it is just one person, I am supposed to add 20%. So I'm going to multiply 5390 times 0.2, which is 20%. And then I'm going to add seven bucks in the weeks that it's just me for personal and household items, which brings our monthly total, sorry, our weekly total when it's just me, brings that to $71.68. Then, because again, there's some weeks that she's with me the whole week, some weeks when she's not, I need to calculate a daily rate for that. So I will divide 7168 by seven. That is my daily rate. So these are the dollar amounts I am working with. The next step I have to take is to figure out just, and it changes sometimes, you know, because she's in college, but we just got it, or she's college aged. I've got to figure out a, an estimate of how many days it's just going to be me and how many days she's going to be with me. All right, so let's look at this calendar. So first I'm gonna calculate the total number of days I'm talking about. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 
31 days. So I'm talking 31 days total, just so I don't <laughs> lose track of the days. And what I know <clears throat> is that from about the 25th to the 17th, I'm going to be, the college phenom will be with me about half the time because she will be with my co-parent the other half of the time. So <clears throat> if I count those days, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. So 22 days. So I know that we, I will have about 11 two-person days during that period. Oops. And I'll have about 11 single days during that period. I also know <clears throat> that I take her to college on the 17th and then I will come back home on the 24th. So these I know are going to be double days. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I know that I will have another eight two person days when it's just me taking her to college. Right? <clears throat> then once I drop her off at college, it's just going to be me. So that is one more day. Um, so I've got 12 single days. I just need to make sure that I have all the days accounted for. And I do. So that's great. So what I do at this point is I take the number of two person days and I multiply that by the daily two person week rate. Which is a ton. I'm very surprised by this. Okay. And then for the single days, I'm going to multiply by the daily rate, which would bring my total grocery budget for the month to $480, y'all. I'm going to have to figure out where I'm going to get $480. That is way more than I was expecting. Okay. So just in the context of the rest of my budget, but if I'm following the thrifty food plan and allowing myself a little bit of money for personal and household items, I am looking at a maximum spend in the next month of $480 on groceries. That's just incredible. So that is our thrifty food budget for September. It does not feel very thrifty. $480 for food and just a little bit of money for personal and household items. It's just incredible. Um, I will be posting throughout the month sort of the grocery hauls uh, that I do. So let's see how this budget works out. <clears throat> but I got to be honest, I have no idea where I'm getting $480 um, out of my overall budget. Let's see how it plays out. Thanks for coming. Please do hit that subscribe button. Hit the like button. Um, really want to get more eyes on this channel. Thanks so much for coming.